What is up, you guys? Welcome, of course, to another video from yours truly, Chris the Scarander. So, yeah, um, I really like this is the second time I do it this week. It seems like I'm much un unwillingly, literally, starting a podcast here, which is not my intent. However, it do help to at least enforce one's points and to really talk to the camera, trying to explain what I've been reaching out about because I don't believe people on Twitter has portrayed me really that well and it has been bothering me and that's been bothering me because I don't believe they are responding to my points but rather my me as a person they are ignoring what I'm saying in con in contrast of me being negative I'm gonna go through that a little bit later on here in the video I'm just gonna cover first that for you've been joining here to think if I just like Pokemon hardly the case I really am looking forward to Generation 8. I've been reaching out about a few things I think are concerning and I've been criticized about the graphics. That has nothing really to do with Pokemon itself, but rather Game Freak as a producer. I've been really vocal that I don't believe Game Freak can develop console games. Um, I, of course, <laughs> I have to, of course, be proven wrong, but Little Town Hero showcased that this, there are a few graphical ditches here that really looks date the game a lot more than it should do. And even more so for a Switch game. But even further, Pokemon looks just as bad. The models are great. I love them. Like, even the older models that are used in Generation 6 till now, stunning. Like, they really revisioned them and it looks great. What has been bothering me are um, the backgrounds, um, the graphical effects, and, and more so the, the environment you stand on. Uh, in contrast to the model, they've been really, really shaky shadowing. There really isn't any light towards the models. It's just a fixed uh, shadowing moving around the model, which looks really weird and really more so in the trailers and in the gameplay video we saw uh, earlier this week. It looks really bad, like mind-boggling bad, as somebody said, yeah, this looks fine. Go with that. That's, that should never happen. Um, it's such a little thing, but it means a lot because it does take the environment, at least for me, it takes me a bit out of it. Uh, same thing, the, the models are so crisp, so great. So when you showcase the wild areas that definitely are in a worse, I wouldn't say resolution, but the, sh um, what do you call it, the layers and um, the templates that is the ground you work on, the models working on them really are standing out as the models are much more crisp, much more well designed in contrast to what you're working on. So it seems like they're floating and it really, really is. It, it looks bad but that's however is all I said I've been very vocal like I said I, I don't believe Game Freak can do this just as graphically at least the gameplay I, I'm sure it will be just as good or bad depending on how you it as a Pokemon game can be and for my money I expect the game to play more or less like the, the well the DS titles close to Game Boy title base kind of touching the hand, handheld titles um, and that's not a bad thing. That's exactly what I think people want, and there is really nothing to it. I am excited about this game. Um, it's just that graphical output that really... I'm so surprised uh, that's how it looks. Um, it has a lot to do with, in contrast to the rest. Um, I do expect Pokemon to be a really great graphical powerhouse as a company. Uh, or no, Pokemon, but Game Freak can produce one of the finest titles on the handles, more so the 3DS. Ultra Sun Moon goddamn lag, lagged because of the graphical output. It looks great. But then when it almost looks the same to a console, yeah, that's the, I think that's a big deal. I do. And I really want to see maybe another producer taking on that graphical output. Um, looking at the likes of Bad Namco, for example, who took the, the Pokemon DX, I think it's called it, the tournament fighting game. Um, <laughs> that game looks great. And that's the thing, like, I really I really want a game or Pokemon to maybe reconsider uh, using another company to um, to create the environment. But, but that's the thing, like, Pokemon is a big company, like, <laughs> one of the biggest ones, easily with the level of Disney today, for some reason. Uh, while awesome, it's still kind of terrifying. Um, but just, I really believe, like, they're, they're sending different... Um, different missions and different companies to make games and mobile, mobile games have been clearly successful Pokemon Go I think stands more for that but it just they're clearly aware of that they can't trust Game Freak with all these titles and, and for the right reasons and I think 
this showcase exactly why, as uh, I just really couldn't tell you <laughs> what went through their heads. Uh, but as I said there, I do expect the game to be good no matter what. Now that I cover that, and I cover five minutes of that, the white knighting is really what I want to cover, and that's why I explain my reasons behind the graphic, because the responses I've gotten, uh, now a few bigger guys have responded, and you know I lost plenty of respect for those guys, I really did. Uh, and it has nothing to do with their standing, like if you think the game looks fine, you're allowed to do that, I, I don't see that as a problem <laughs> at all, actually. Uh, and I never debated anybody who thought, said the game looks great. Fine by me. If that's your preference, who am I to actually change that view? I don't, I don't have that need, nor do I see the point of making that. However, when people are, in, instead of actually debating my arguments, but debating me and my standpoint as being just negative, that really, really had me frustrated because it's such a childish Charlotte's argument um, is really done one of that too, and the other one is that has been going on for the longest time now. That is coffee. I hope, no. <laughs> uh, but it's that if you don't like the game, don't buy it. I don't believe anybody who's made an argument about the graphics, me included, has said anything about not buying a game or having that strive for. That's not the point. I'm really going to stress that enough. That is not the point. And, and having that mentality that I should speak with my wallet and not buying a game, how dumb would you be to think that is an okay assessment to make? I, I think anybody who's taken their time to critique the game wants the game to be good. <laughs> Why wouldn't they? That's, that's the easiest part they're gonna get at. Um, if they want a different change, like for example, I, I've said it on Twitter, I really consistent enough. If we have a producer coming and showcasing a bottle that uh, wants to taste it, see if it does it miss miss anything, or they showcase a label, does this attract people? What if I said, you know, if you did, did this, this would probably make more money, or they would be more appealing towards people, and maybe a colleague agreed, yeah, that would probably be great. And then somebody, oh, you just be negative. They're paying us to get something out of this. They're paying us a great deal of money because they actually want their products to succeed and be more grateful. If you're just saying, looks great, you're not worth anything to them. Why would you? They want their product to be as successful as it can be. You showcase trailers, you showcase gameplay to see what do people think about this. They, they actually literally take the positive part, you know, they, they just mean it did something right. But if they get negative, they need to look at it like, can we do something about it? Can we make this more appealing? They want, in the end of the day, they want to make money and they want as many people as possible to make money. Nobody says don't buy the game. And I think it's even worse when the people who are for the game and going to buy it no matter what, and actually defend Game Freak in this white knight environment, says, speak with your wallet, don't buy the game. Why would they make that claim? It's... Yeah, <laughs> it's almost retarded, as that's not the point. And even more so, why would they try to d damage their own franchise that they like? That's that's insane. That's... <laughs> I really couldn't stress this enough, how dumb of a claim that is. And people just not responding to the arguments and just really pinpoint these people as being haters. You guys are awful. You are absolutely the reason franchises dies because you're just making sure that people don't spread negativity in your case, but there actually are valid criticism to make this game or product more successful. And I think if you don't grasp that, you really shouldn't speak your mind as having the mentality of a three-year-old really isn't a place to make a statement about the product. It, it really isn't. And what bothers me is that most of these people are in their, around their 20s if that's their way of argumenting, well, life is gonna be a lot tougher than you think it is. Uh, I, I've had a few discussions with people who, of course, are well, on my side, of course they are, but rather where this mentality comes from. And I think we both agree that maybe, maybe the internet environment as a whole kind of created this as we are selectively um, talking with people who are, have the same type of... Uh, 
vision and views as we say Mara. and when somebody comes with a different opinion in, instead of being able to uh, arguing about that or respecting another's opinion they're just ridiculing like yo set that person on fire bring bring the folks <laughs> pitch folks of course <laughs> and and that's not how the world works like if i want to be a better person or be more successful i'm most likely going to adjust myself to be more appealing to more people it's not the other way around like people should not adjust themselves to me if, if that were to happen why would i strive to become better that goes for pokemon too even more so game freak i'm not saying they should kick game freak I, I, i'm not but i'm definitely saying that if they can't make this game better than it is now they probably shouldn't handle that design they shouldn't i mean switch is an awesome cons console it, it really is and when it looks like that, that's stated, that needs to be heard, that, that that does not look good. And I think ignoring that, in and as I said, stating people to not buy the game because of that, how, <laughs> why wouldn't I buy the game? Why shouldn't people buy the game if they don't like the graphics? I think it's very clear that, that critical about the graphic doesn't mean, yeah, that's it, not buy the game. I, I'm clearly buying or play game for graphics. Nobody says that. Nobody should say that. And nobody should argue and say you shouldn't buy the game if the graphics look, look appealing to you. That's, as I said, that's, that's quite retarded. That, that's absolutely on a retarded scale. If we have this scale, you absolutely are here somewhere. That's, that's close to it. it it's, it's almost like that. Yeah, I think I made my statement. And I really, like I said, buy the game. Enjoy it. I'm, I'm absolutely going to do that. Um, I also heard from a friend of mine who also a reviewer here in Sweden... The game does come around, it looks a lot better, but the first five hours apparently really, really are underselling this game's performance. And I think if a reviewer sees that and aren't a fan of Pokemon at all, that speaks to it. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's being criticized, it's not going to be that the game is good or not, it's going to be that, dear God, what happened? Why does it underperform graphically when it is such a big franchise they should figure this out if anything so anyway guys i really hope this cleared up a few things and if for the people who are hating me actually look through this game or through, the, through this video i'm clearly not that sane myself look i have nothing against you and as, as i said if you really think the game looks good more power to you as i like i said it doesn't bother me we should have different opinions in the end of the day we want the franchise to move forward, to become greater. And if we have a different vision of how that is coming to, or how that should go about, that only means that they have that much more inspiration and thoughts to actually develop a greater game next time. And that should be the end of it. So with that said, thank you all for watching. Have a great day. Take care.